Okay. Congratulations, David Urban. It was a, an unexpected and big victory. For the Democratic side, what the hell happened? Those were Thomas Frank's words in an article for The Guardian. Quote, the woman we were constantly assured was the best qualified candidate of all time has lost to the least qualified of all time. He's the author of Listen, Liberal. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. And of course, what's the matter with Kansas? Thomas Frank, thank you so much for being here. What went wrong? Hey, Michael. What went wrong? Clintonism is what went wrong. This is the, the philosophy of Clintonism going back to the 1990s is that uh, people like uh, 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 working class voters have nowhere else to go. Do you remember this? That was the, what they used to say when they got NAFTA passed in 1993. Well, Michael, as I said many, many, many times this year, they've found somewhere else to go. <laughs> Did they vote? I mean, I remember the whole premise of what's the matter with Kansas. Your argument is that voters vote against their own economic interest. I assume Thomas Frank is going to say a whole host of folks just voted against their economic interest on Tuesday. Well, I think uh, to some degree, yeah, but it, the, 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 the politics has changed quite a bit since then. The main point of what's the matter with Kansas was, I mean, the, just the, what we're seeing play out right before our eyes, that working class people are transitioning from the, Repu from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. It's been going on for decades, and here it is. And the Democrats have been utterly blind to this. They, they, they dismiss it. They won't talk about it. They brush it off there right now in Washington, coming up with all sorts of different ways to brush it off and say they don't have to reach out to the these people they can win without these people they don't have to take their issues into you know into consideration and they lose and they lose and they lose and they lose so you look at that democratic bench which candidly to me looks a little thin at the national level uh, who do you see as as the champion for where this now goes uh, there, look, there are some good Democrats still. I, I like Elizabeth Warren. I like Sherrod Brown. There's a lot of good Democrats out there. I mean, good from my point of view, but I, I want to point out two things. First of all is that we have to get past the liberalism that I describe in Listen Liberal. It's kind of liberalism of the rich, okay? Martha's Vineyard liberalism. This has to go. We have to move away from it. And um, what was the other thing I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> there there, there are plenty who's of good Democrats. I, you know what I want to say? I, I fear what Donald Trump is going to do to this country, but there is one very uh, bright side to all of this. And you know what it is? This man just destroyed the establishment wing of both parties. He just ended two political dynasties, the Bushes and the Clintons. He showed us that anything is possible in American politics, and that is, that is a wonderful thing. If he delivers on the jobs, those voters are not returning to the Democratic fold. You'd agree on that? I think that's that you might be right about that, yeah. That's I mean it's it's, it's it's all about yeah, it is the economy. It's certainly not, I would I would argue, it was certainly not a campaign driven by social issues. Not not this cycle. Not this time. No, not this time around. This is but look, this be, when I wrote What's the Matter with Kansas, that was before the Great Recession. That that changed everything. You know, the, 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 look, had, my argument is that had Obama, had Obama really delivered, like getting tough with Wall Street, changing the way, you know, the, the way the world works for middle class people, had he, you know, done anything for middle class people, we'd be looking at a different situation today. And he came into office, a lot of people thought he was going to be a very different kind of Democrat. It didn't work out that way. But can I tell you something, Michael? I'm, I'm speaking to you from Kansas City, Missouri right now. I spent the last couple days out in Columbia, Missouri. And Missouri, like Pennsylvania, like many of these states, uh, the Democrats won the two big cities in the college town. And they lost everything else, okay? And you look at the, at the rural counties out there in Missouri, and it is like a neutron bomb went off in these places. The buildings are still standing. All the businesses are gone. Everything's boarded up. The people are gone. It's depopulating. You know, the, 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 the family farms are dead. Uh, these people have been watching their way of life disintegrate for decades. And they had hope in Barack Obama, and now they've got nothing but desperation. And at least Donald Trump, you know, when someone comes out there and says, make America great again, that sounds pretty good to these people. These people are desperate. We knew we'd be conducting an autopsy. We just didn't think that it would be on this particular cadaver. Thomas Frank, thank you for being here. Sure thing, Michael. Best and worst tweets.